Good morning, friends. Greetings and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, acne, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. We welcome your phone calls at 844 236 6010 844 236 6010. If you have questions about nutritional supplements, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, if you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, 844 236 6010 is our number. If you have questions about formulations, ingredients, our Truth Skin Health products, any of the longevity products, 844 236 6010 is our number on the bright side. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my website, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can purchase all the longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can start a longevity business and help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program. If nutritional supplements have helped you or your loved ones and you want to help spread the word, the longevity business might be just what the doctor ordered, no pun intended. For a one-time $25 fee, you can earn thank you checks associated with having your own business, enjoy all the tax benefits associated with having your own business, and work out of your home. Make as, money, make as much money or as little money as you like. Offer a one-time $25 fee. Even if you just want to get your products at the wholesale price for a one-time $25 fee, you can sign up to join the Brightside Ben team. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Or you can sign up directly off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. If you'd like to check out our Truth Skin Health products, if you're interested in anti-aging or if you have acne blemishes, if you're interested in high-potency vitamin C products, you want to know about our Truth Treatment products at truthtreatments.com. Our retinol 5% gel made with a big old dose of fat-soluble premium vitamin C as well as 5% retinol, equipotent, same potency as Retin-A 0.05%, except you don't get the sodium lauryl sulfate, you don't get the propylene glycol, you don't get the preservatives, and you don't get the water. All our truth treatment products are made with 100% active and functional ingredients. Every molecule it's in, our true treatment products is going to do something for your skin. No water, no filler, no silicon, no oil, no fillers, no waxes, no thickeners, no nothing that your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth treatment products. You can check them all out. Our truth retinol 5% gel, truth omega-6 healing cream, truth Transdermal Sea Balm and Truth Transdermal Sea Serum voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine. They're all up at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, welcome back to the Bright Side, friends. We're talking about a very powerful and medicinal class of compounds found in the cruciferous veggies, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, uh, cauliflower, 
These are known as the cruciferous veggies and these compounds, these powerful medicinal compounds are called the glucosinolates. And they are the real reasons why we're always told we have to eat our broccoli. And they're also the reasons why we don't like to eat our broccoli because the glucosinolates are, have a bitter taste and it's the glucosinolates that account for the reason why people don't like to eat their cruciferous vegetables and why broccoli has that, that bad reputation. I remember in the 1980s, President Bush said, I don't want to eat broccoli. I'm the President of the United States and I'm not going to eat broccoli, which is very unfortunate because broccoli is a super powerful medicinal vegetable. All the cruciferous vegetables are powerful and medicinal and that's because of the glucosinolates, which in my opinion are the most medicinal of all the phytonutrients. And there's a lot of medicinal phytonutrients, but none have more therapeutic benefits than the glucosinolates, which are especially protective against cancer. Anyone concerned about cancer would be wise to use the cruciferous vegetables almost like a medicine eat your broccoli like it's a medicine but if you can't stand your broccoli if you can't stand your cauliflower or brussels sprouts if you absolutely cannot handle the taste of the stuff you do have an option there are two glucosinolates that are available as nutritional supplements they're called dim or dim and i3c and they're used medicinally therapeutically as estrogen blockers for uh, women who are dealing with estrogen dominance. Estrogen dominance is a relatively common condition. It's linked to obesity and mood issues and reproductive disorders, infertility, PMS, even breast cancer, cervical cancer, uterine cancer in women, and prostate cancer in men have a component of estrogen dominance. Estrogen lives in balance. Like so many other things, about the body's about balance. We talked about electrolyte balances. Potassium has to be balanced with uh, with sodium and calcium has to be balanced with magnesium. Well, it turns out that estrogen has to be balanced with progesterone. Progesterone has a calming effect on the body. Estrogen has a stimulating effect on the body, and both these hormones have to be balanced. Unfortunately, these days, many of us are dealing with out-of-balance estrogen to progesterone, typically estrogen dominance, too much estrogen. That's uh, largely because estrogen is found in various uh, uh, pesticides, and, uh, not estrogen, but estrogen effects are uh, found in pesticides and plastics and a lot of environmental, to a lot of, uh, a lot of uh, environmental toxins have estrogen-like effects. Soy has an estrogen-like effect. So many people are dealing with estrogen dominance, DIM, and I3C may be just what you need if you're dealing with an estrogen dominance type issue like obesity, like uh, reproductive disorders, like PMS and unfortunately like cancers as well, certain cancers anyway, colon cancer, breast cancer, cervical cancer, etc. DIM and I3C also uh, have been shown to have antioxidant properties. They may be antiarthritic, they have antiarthritis properties, they're anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, and they may also have neurological benefits. That's a lot of benefits for phytonutrients, DIM and I3C, which are also available as supplements. Most of the ways that DIM and I3C work to support health, to balance out estrogen, is they help the body process estrogen. Estrogen, well known as a female hormone, is a very complicated substance. It probably is the most complicated of all the steroid hormones. That's because it is so darn potent and powerful. Gram for gram, it's probably the most powerful of all the hormones, and it's active in very trace amounts. When I was compounding estrogen products in my compounding pharmacy, I had to be really, really careful with the amount of estrogen that we put in the creams. If you're off by, I mean, tiny amounts, 0.001%, if you're off by just a little tiny bit, you could throw uh, people off into side effects and toxicity. And I never even really liked working with estrogen because it's so darn powerful. In the body, estrogen has to be cleared out and clearing out estrogen is also a very complicated process. It has to be cleared out by the liver and the intestine. Bile is also important. The gallbladder is also important. The stool is important. If you have sluggish bowels, uh, estrogen is cleared out through the stool. So if you're constipated, you have sluggish bowels, that can be a problem. So if any of these systems aren't working correctly, if you've got liver problems or uh, intestinal problems, dysbiosis, uh, probiotic bacteria are also involved in helping the body clear out estrogen. If you've got any issues there, you're running higher risks of estrogen health challenges, and that could be a big problem. We will continue talking about that and what you can do about that using supplements when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, 844-236-6010 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 
844-236-6010 is our number. We still uh, we have lines open for you, 844-236-6010. That's 844-236-6010. If you have questions about any of the longevity products, anything we're speaking about here today, DIM, I3C, if you're dealing with any kind of estrogen health issues, or if you have questions about our Truth Skin Health products, or if you have a common or success story you'd like to share, 844-236-6010 is our number on the bright side. Got lines open for you at 844-236-6010. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side, and we're on every five days a week, every day, and 24-7 on our archive pages at benfuchsarchives.com and brightsideben.com. If you miss a program, we have search engines up. You can review programs or direct your customers, clients, friends, or loved ones to specific topics at benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting that up as well as brightsideben.com. You can purchase longevity products off of brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also purchase longevity products by calling the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. Okay, so DIM, I3C, they're, they're somewhat similar. I3C is broken down into DIM. I3C requires enzymes in the stomach to be converted into DIM. This sometimes can slow down its effects. If you have any digestive problems, you may want to go with the DIM form. I3C is a little bit more complex. Best way to get your glucosinolates is going to be through foods, but you got to eat a lot of broccoli, something like, something like two pounds of broccoli to get a significant amount of, of DIM, the active ingredient in I3C. So you may want to do both. You may want to just do your DIM or I3C. You may want to just eat broccoli. Personally, I'm, I'm thinking do both. Eat your cruciferous vegetables, bitter or not, and I'm going to tell you a nice way to, to get rid of the bitterness here in a moment, uh, and then add in some DIM or I3C either way. Most of the ways that DIM and I3C work is they help the body clear out, help the body process estrogen. Clearance, clearance of estrogen is super, super important. Because estrogen is cleared out through stools, if you're chronically constipated, the chances are, your risks are higher for having estrogenic health problems. In fact, I would say, I would say most people who have estrogenic issues, at least the really obvious blatant ones like obesity and, and, uh, and polycystic ovarian syndrome or fibroids or cysts also have chronic constipation. They seem to go hand in hand. Elevated estrogen itself is a stress hormone, and that can... Uh, Estrogen acts, has some stress hormone-like effects, and that can act to cause constipation too. Use your fiber. That's a great way to help eliminate constipation. Grind up some flax seeds every morning, maybe a teaspoon or maybe a tablespoon or a couple tablespoons of flax seed every morning. Start off slowly if you've never done this before. Magnesium is a great way to help, uh, help relieve constipation. Magnesium also is good for the uh, female hormone system. Uh, vitamin C acts as a laxative. I wouldn't do too much vitamin C. You can get a little bit crampy with that. Maybe mixing some vitamin C in with a little bit of magnesium. If you had a gallbladder missing, your, uh, uh, or had a gallbladder taken out, I should say, your odds of having an estrogen problem increase. If you have dysbiosis, that is messed up gut bacteria, that can also uh, create estrogen problems. Fatty liver, which 100... 100 a million Americans, one out of three of us is dealing with, can also be a problem. It's no surprise with all of these, all of these conditions that so many folks are dealing with, fatty liver, dysbiosis, having gallbladders removed, const chronic constipation. It's no surprise that estrogenic diseases are a significant source of health misery. If you don't like your broccoli, you don't like your cauliflower, if you don't like your veggies, DIM and I3C might be something that you want to do or might be something that you want to consider supplementing with. On the other hand, even if you find your broccoli and your cauliflower and your Brussels sprouts to, uh, just impossible to tolerate, it's always best to go the whole food route. I am as big a believer in nutritional supplements as you'll find, but supplements mean supplement. To supplement means to add to. So to supplement means uh, nutritional supplements, or to use nutritional supplements means to add to your food, to supplement your food. It's always going to be best to start off with whole foods. And despite their unpalatability, at least for some folks, the bitter in the veggies can be a good thing. And rather than something to avoid, it may be something that you want to consider to use as a medicine, maybe something to consider to use medicinally and therapeutically. If you do want to use cruciferous vegetables, but you absolutely 
positively cannot handle the bitter, if you'd rather not subject yourself to medicine-y type foods, an easy way to get rid of the bitter or to cover it up is by slightly heating your veggies. Classic example is broccoli, which when you munch on it raw is really tough to tolerate. Even myself, I love broccoli, but munching on it raw can be pretty tough to tolerate. But if you steam your broccoli slightly or you uh, braise your broccoli slightly and then add butter, and then add spices, and then add salt, it's almost like a dessert. It is so delicious. Even kids like steamed broccoli with butter. Same thing happens with Brussels sprouts. Braised Brussels sprouts or roasted Brussels sprouts with water can be so, or uh, with, uh, with butter, I should say, can be so darn delicious. Slice your Brussels sprouts thin, and then braise them in some coconut oil or some butter. Oh my God, that is so darn delicious. Likewise, cauliflower. Onions are particularly uh, sweet when they get heated. Pretty much all veggies are going to have their sugar released by a slight amount of heat. The Japanese call this process akunuki, A-K-U-N-U-K-I, akunuki, and it's also used as a mechanism to preserve the color in vegetables. In akunuki cooking, you just boil your veggies in water and salt for just a minute or two, just like you're cooking pasta, and then uh, you drop the veggies quickly into a cold plunge. So you just boil your veggies real quickly, boom, one, one minute is all you need, maybe, maybe 90 seconds. Drop it in a cold plunge, and then instantly it stops the cooking, the color stays the same, and the sugars are released from the veggies. Sometimes Japanese chefs will cook their veggies in rice bran or rice water. That has an added effect in removing the, the bitterness. So the best way to eat is going to be mostly veggies, perhaps some fruits, and most of our calories should come from fats. Add in some protein, salt, spices, and uh, salt, by the way, even if you're dealing with heart problems. We're going to talk about salt here uh, probably in our next Bright Side episode. Salt's super important. And if you think this way of eating sounds familiar, mostly veggies, a little bit of fruit, and then a lot of fat and a certain amount of protein, if you're working out maybe a little bit more protein and salt, if you think that sounds familiar, it, it, it probably does sound familiar because it's basically the ketogenic diet. And uh, when it's done correctly, making sure you keep your calories low, that's a key part of the ketogenic diet, it is the ideal weight for human beings to eat, especially for the heart, for the brain, and for the nervous system. Remember, the ketogenic diet which is the high fat, low calorie diet, was invented as a brain health diet and was first used to treat epileptics. It was, it's still used to treat epileptics who are not responsive to anti-seizure medicine. It's a brain, specifically it's a brain health diet, but also has benefits for weight loss, for folks who are dealing with diabetes, and also for people who are dealing with, with heart disease. And speaking of fats, you always want to try to mix your veggies with fats. That's why it's so important to use butter when you're braising your broccoli. The, uh, uh, the phytonutrients in the, uh, in the broccoli or the cauliflower, whatever veggies you're using, the phytonutrients get pulled out into the butter. And this can be especially effective if you're dealing with some kind of fat malabsorption issue. So many of us are. If you had gallbladder removed, liver health issues, all of these are going to compromise your ability to process, to, to digest fats, to utilize fats, especially as we get older. So mixing your cruciferous veggies or any veggies with fats is the ideal way to enjoy your fats. Veggies plus fats. All right. 844-236-1610 is our number. I am Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. Got lots of lines open for you. We're coming back with you and your phone calls and more good health information right after this. Don't go away. All right, we're back on The Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben, and we have a empty board. Nobody's on the line. 844-236-1610 is our number. Now's the time to call. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, DIM or I3C, or, or if you have heart, heart health challenges, electrolyte challenges, or electrolyte issues, 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have a comment or success story you'd like to share, we love hearing success stories, and I know they're out there. I've been hearing success stories with the Longevity products now for 19 years. Most amazing success stories. I was in Oklahoma a couple of weeks ago. I talked to a gal who was in a walker in uh, January of 2016. By December of 2016, she was dancing. All that, she had multiple sclerosis, MS, and she was, uh, uh, somebody told her about the longevity products in January. She started taking them in, at the beginning of the year and started feeling better almost right away. By the end of the year, she was, this is a true story, by the end of the year, she was forcing her husband to go out dancing. 
I talked to another guy when I was in Oklahoma. He, I thought he was a bodybuilder. He had had a quintuple bypass in April of this year, April 2017. He had a quintuple bypass, and I thought the guy was a bodybuilder. He said, no, I'm not a bodybuilder. I've been on the Longevity products. I'm telling you, folks, I, I wouldn't be sitting here every day telling you how important it is to supplement, how important the Longevity products are to supplement if I hadn't seen these results over and over and over again. Not, what, not once, not twice, not 20 times, not 100 times, hundreds of times over the last 19 years. The most amazing, amazing results when people start, when people start the Longevity supplement program. Now, you can get on any supplements, you're going to find benefits, but Longevity just makes it so easy to do. And when you're buying supplements, you don't even really know what you're getting. With Longevity, you know what you're getting. It's a company that's been around for 19 years. It's a company that's been producing products that have been tried and true for 19 plus years. I'm telling you this because I've seen it with my own eyes. That's why, I stay, that's why I'm on this program every day, giving you the phone number, giving you the websites for using the Longevity products. Of course, if you want to start a business, that's even better. You can start a business helping, share the, helping spread the word, sharing the good news about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, and make money at the same time. It's a perfect deal. Call 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470 for more information. You can also sign up off my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also purchase longevity products off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, or call 866-735-2470. All right, we'll get your phone calls here momentarily. 844-236-6010 is our number. From the journal Nature Communications, study shows how food preservatives may disrupt human hormones and promote obesity. This is what I was talking about earlier, about how many of the things that are, envi are in our environment, particularly plastics and, and uh, uh, pesticides, as well as food, preserv pr food preservatives, have estrogen-like properties. These substances are known as endocrine disruptors, and they can wreak havoc on the body, particularly when it comes to... Uh, how we process energy, and this is why obesity is one of the signs of endocrine disruption. If you've noticed how little girls are reaching puberty or getting their periods when they're eight years old and nine years old these days, when I was a kid, little girls would reach puberties, puberty when they were 12, now it's eight, you can rest assured that endocr endocrine disruption is behind this phenomena. Also, uh, our, phenom our, our epidemic of infertility is associated with endocrine disruption. That is excess amounts of estrogen leading to estrogen dominance. Stay away from food preservatives if possible. And the best way to stay away from food preservatives is to not eat processed foods. Even though 70 to 80% of us are living almost exclusively on processed foods, it's not a good idea, folks. The first thing to consider if you're eating a lot of processed foods is that we don't need to eat as much food. We can get by with a lot less calories than we think we need. Eating raw, eating fresh veggies, eating fresh fruits, meats and fish and eggs, number one, will allow you to, to bypass the food preservatives that are in processed foods. And number two, because you get all the nutrients in, in whole foods that you need in a, in a complete fashion, in a comprehensive fashion, you're going to find that you're eating less calories when you eat whole foods. Now, you do need to supplement, in my opinion, because of how our soils are depleted and because cooking will, you know, some, some nutrients will be removed in the cooking, uh, in cooking and also just shelf life. If you're buying even, even your tomatoes sitting on the shelf, uh, they're going to lose some of their nutritional value. So you do need to supplement, but most of our calories should be coming from whole foods and the best way to avoid food preservatives and subsequent estrogen toxicity and endocrine disruption is to eat more raw and eat less processed. From... Uh, Let's see here. This is from the American Academy of Dermatology. How safe and effective is your sunscreen? 41% of sunscreens did not meet recommendations of the American Academy of Dermatology. No surprise. Did you know the sun deactivates your sunscreen? That's right. The sun deactivates your sunscreen. Even worse, the sun can actually turn your sunscreen into a toxic compound. What's the best way to protect your skin? Use nutritional supplements, especially vitamin C, vitamin E, the supplement NAC and acetylcysteine has skin protection effects. Zinc and alpha lipoic acid are also protective against the sun. We talked earlier about how it's a good idea to mix your veggies with fats, how the fats get pulled out or the, vet, uh, the phytonutrients get pulled out into the fats. Well, guess what? Those phytonutrients, those pigments especially that are in, in your veggies, as well as the flavonoids and, and other phytonutrients, particularly the pigments, 
those are protective against the sun. As we get older, we don't have, we lose the ability, or at least our ability to absorb fats out of veggies, to process fats out of veggies becomes compromised. One of the best strategies for protecting your skin from the sun is to mix your veggies with fats and use, uh, uh, braise your veggies, steam your veggies with fats, and use cruciferous veggies especially because those are super protective against cancer and super protective against the sun. So mixing your veggies with fats as well as using nutritional supplements, that's the ideal way to protect your skin from the sun, not using a sunscreen which is toxic and may be deactivated by the sun. How ironic is that, that sunscreens are deactivated by the sun that they're supposed to protect us from? All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. Let's go to, let's go to Cliff in Canada. Good morning, Cliff. Welcome to the Bright Side. Yeah, good morning, sir. How are you? Doing well. How are you? Where in Canada are you? Ottawa. All right. What's going on, man? Yeah, uh, just talking about fasting. Uh, yeah, the benefits of fasting. Like, I'm really getting into this. Uh, uh, like, I started. I started for religious purposes. What uh, religion? How? Out. How do you mean? How do you mean religious purposes? Well, fasting, answer prayer, like prayer and fasting. Like, okay. I would pray for things, and I would fast, and, nice. and then after that, ask God for things, like it says in the Bible to do. <laughs> And so Very this nice. is how it started, but then it became like a health thing, too, at the same time when I started to notice the benefits. And, now, uh, how long would you fast for? Like uh, one day? 24 more? hours, like a uh, 24-hour fast. But and I what kind like, of, yeah, I'm sorry, what kind of benefits did you notice? Well, I noticed that like I was more relaxed and peaceful, uh, that nice. my weight, of, like my appetite was under control. I didn't get cravings uh, to eat during the week like I used to. Uh, and then also, like, uh, keeps my body, like, uh, trimmer, trimmer. It's a few pounds a week that I don't have because of that. I'm actually thinking of upping it to an, an additional day a week. That's uh, awesome. Like, uh, yeah, and, like, I'm following this stuff online a lot, too. Like, how, how old? Hey, Cliff, how old are you, buddy? 61. That's super, man. And, now, do you feel do you feel like you've, you've reversed the aging process through fasting? Well, I don't know, but it certainly doesn't hurt, that's for sure. It's like there's so many benefits about, to it, like there's even feelings of well-being, you know, like you feel hey, better. Hey, 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 Cliff, we gotta, we're running to a commercial. Hang on, okay? I want to finish up when we come back from a break. Don't go away. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back after this. On the bright side, I'm Pharmacist Ben, 844 is our number. We're in Ottawa, Canada, talking to Cliff. Hey, Cliff. I didn't hey, to interrupt you there. Continue, okay. continue on. With, yeah. Yeah, yeah I know. I'm thinking of, like, adding an extra day because I noticed that I feel better, right? Eh? Like, after, even after I came off the fast, like, for, like, quite a bit of time, actually, last night, uh, I felt fairly good. Like, really, really good. I had this feeling of well-being, and... I was, like, calm and stuff like that. And I know that I think the body's, like, designed to fast. Like, people have been fasting for year, forever, uh, like, not forever since mankind has been around. And, and the body has been designed to fast. Uh, every You know, even, like, in, in Israel and stuff like that, in the old times, people used to fast. And, and now, like, uh, why not fast now? You know, like, uh, you know. Let me let me ask you something, Cliff. Uh, what do you yeah. break your fast with? Uh, well, really, I, a lot of times I break it like with. Um, sometimes I'll eat it like uh, an apple or a banana, and then after that I go in, and then sometimes like I eat mainly like brown rice and and maybe some kind of like uh, lentils, things like that, things that are soft. And you got to be careful. But it's only a twenty-four hour fast, though. So it's not like a big deal but like longer fast you have to be more careful do you have uh, a hard right. time e do you have a hard time eating w when you break your fast i mean does is there uh, part of you that yeah, doesn't want to eat first, no no because well, i can't eat too much though that's the thing like if i start like downing it uh like then after that i might get problems where i don't feel well a bit because i eat too much because your stomach shrinks a bit you know like when you go mm -hmm. on a fast but it's only a 24-hour fast so it's not that that uh, bad, really, you know, like if I was going like longer periods, you know, I have my buddy who's done like 40 day fast, you know, that sounds extreme. He's done it more than once, but uh, like him, like he's really got to be careful. Uh, like, but anyhow, um, 
but these are this is like a, a religious thought, you know, that he does, and uh, this is what he believes. And and uh, I've seen, you know, he gets good results too. Like his blood work is good. The doctor says his blood work is good. His doctor's even behind him doing these things. That's, so, that's you know, awesome. We, we eat. Yeah, you know what? You're confirming everything I talk about all the time. We oh, eat yeah. way too much. We don't eat a lot of calories. Uh, I'm a big believer. You know I'm a big believer in fasting. In fact, I'm yeah. doing a fast today. Hey, Cliff, I got to uh, motivate. I got a c- couple more calls I want to get to. Thank you so much for sharing, bro. Have a beautiful day Thank in Ottawa. You, sir. Appreciate you too, it. Sir. Take, Bye-bye. take care, man. Let's go to uh, Denise in Santa Cruz. Good morning, Denise. Welcome to the bright side. Hey, thanks, Ben. Give me some more. Uh... The 411 on the Parkinson progression. I was sharing with my girlfriend just last night. Her Denise, husband. I need you to speak up a little bit. I'm having a hard time hearing you. I'm sorry. Hey, just give there me the 411 and on the uh, progression of Parkinson, what we can, I can share okay. with my friend. I know okay, you here. talk about electrical. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, good good question. Parkinson's disease is nothing more than a deterioration of the brain. It's arthritis of the brain. Arthritis is deterioration of the joints. A Parkinson's de- is deterioration of the brain. There is nothing, I mean nothing with a capital N that your doctor can do to prevent or reverse deterioration of the brain. The strategy for dealing with Parkinson's is to give you the hormone or, or precursor to the hormone, uh, the, the brain chemical that is, uh, that's involved with, uh, with Parkinson's. When, the, when this area of the brain deteriorates, this hormone called dopamine, neurotransmitter technically, called dopamine, uh, becomes in short supply. So the only thing doctors can do is replace dopamine. But the deterioration of the brain is nothing the doctor can help you with. However, it's something we can do. We can uh, we can work with ourselves largely through food. Parkinson's disease uh, occurs subsequent following long-term nutritional deficiencies and toxicity that enters into the blood through the digestive system. And this is where you want to work first and foremost, not just for Parkinson's, but also Alzheimer's, which is, a, which is Parkinson's disease in a different part of the brain, basically, except instead of in the movement area of the brain, it's in the cognitive area of the brain. In fact, there's a major relationship between Parkinson's and Alzheimer's. You can have Parkinson's dementia. In any case, the way you want to work with Parkinson's disease is first and foremost by working with Food, uh, eliminating food intolerances. Look for, do the whole thing we talk about with, with a fasting for a couple of days or a swear OV cleanse from longevity, and then do a food diary, eliminate problem foods. The most likely suspects are going to be gluten and grains and flour and dairy and eggs. Processed foods are probably going to be involved. Sugar is going to be a problem. So eliminating all of those foods, particularly foods that you have an issue with from a digestive system perspective, patching up the gut with probiotics and fermented foods. I mean, you've probably heard me say this a million times, but it's worth repeating. It's the same things we have to do for any other health challenge. Working with uh, working with micro, the microbiome, using more fiber, using a, a nutritional supplement called glutamine, which is very helpful for digestive health. Zinc is very important, not just for digestive health, but also for the brain. Using essential fatty acids, your ultimate EFAs are important for brain health, as well as for digestive health. Stabilizing your blood sugar, using more protein, particularly tyrosine-containing protein like cheese and organ meats. Tyrosine is a precursor to dopamine, the, the neurotransmitter that's in short supply. Movement, making sure you're exercising, stimulating the uh, that that movement area of the brain is also helpful and then there's a really neat supplement called glutamine uh, glutathione which comes from glutamine which is important for digestive health as well as glycine and cysteine which you'll get in uh, NAC and acetylcysteine I would probably be throwing in some sulfur and some alpha lipoic acid I saw uh, I've talked about this before but I'll tell you again here I saw a YouTube video uh, of a guy with Parkinson's disease and they showed him walking uh, with Parkinson's disease doing the, the, the stumbling kind of um, Parkinson's walk. And then they showed him after he had a glutathione injection and he was like a new man. If, you, if I had a, a Parkinson's or I, my loved one had one, I'd be insisting on a glutathione IV injection. Now, if you don't, don't want to go all out and have a glutathione IV injection, use NAC, glycine, glutamine, and some source of sulfur like MSM sulfur or alpha lipoic acid. Make sure you're getting enough of the B vitamins as well as vitamin C. Vitamin C is also great uh, intravenously. I'd be using that too. And by the way, vitamin C works with glutathione, as do the mineral, as does the mineral selenium. 
selenium, that can also be helpful for you. Lots of things that you could do if you're dealing with Parkinson's disease. You do not have to be a ward of the medical model, and there's nothing, nothing, nothing your doctor can do for you anyway if you have Parkinson's disease. Focus on food, focus on blood sugar, make sure you're uh, working with brain health nutrients like the B vitamins, and also I would consider, uh, I would consider glutathione injections or at least building glutathione. Is that helpful, Denise? I love it. Thank you. Yes, thank you. God yes, bless you. God have, bless you. Have a beautiful okay. day. Okay, let's uh, finish up here. I take one more call. Shauna in Idaho. Good morning, Shauna. Hello. Can Hello. You hear me? I hear you loud and clear. What's going on? Okay, I'm wondering about Lyme disease. I have a 55 year old friend that just discovered she has that, and I don't know. How, what how do they know she has? You. I consider Lyme I disease. I, I think that's. I'm. I'm not buying this whole Lyme disease thing. I mean, I could see an acute infection of Lyme disease, but when you have this chronic Lyme disease thing, I don't know how they prove that it's Lyme disease. To me, it just sounds like the body's breaking down in a generic way. If you're thinking it's Lyme disease, then you're dealing in the, with the world of cure. And I don't like the world of cure. Cure is magical to me. I'm talking reversal. I'm talking regeneration. I'm talking giving the body what it needs to support healing. Not to cure, but to give the body okay. raw material. So, again, so it, it comes down to the same thing. thing. You just went. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, I know I'm making myself irrelevant here. One day you're not going to need Pharmacist Ben because it's just going to be the same. I say the same thing over and over again. And all health is about this. This is my main message. When I die, I want this on my tombstone. I want this to be my legacy. The main message of health is that it is simple. We have this idea that we have mag special diseases that require magical cures. We have special places where the body breaks down that require some kind of special or specific treatment protocol. It doesn't work that way. The body is a system. It's all the parts are connected. So what that means is, is that no matter what your health challenge is, we, all we got to do to reverse First, that health challenge is to figure out how to drive nutrition into the body and to keep toxicity out. Toxicity means sugar, it means drugs, it means environmental pollutants, and it means the stuff we get in processed foods. If you're doing drugs and alcohol and cigarettes, obviously that counts as toxins as well. And then in terms of what goes into the system, it's protein, it's good fats, it's vegetables, it's nutritional supplements featuring water-soluble nutrients like your B-complex, vitamin C, and the electrolytes, and fat-soluble nutrients including your essential fatty acids, vitamin D, vitamin E, vitamin A, vitamin K. Throw in your fiber, throw in water, and it's as simple as that. Of course, you got to make sure you're working with mental strategies, emotional strategies, stinking thinking is always going to be found behind health challenges as is spiritual crisis. Make sure you're working with uh, eliminating things like a rage and anger and jealousy, lousy emotions. Make sure you're thinking correctly. Make sure you're connected spiritually. And that's pretty much it, folks. And I know I'm making myself irrelevant, but I don't care because the job of a good health professional should be to make him uh, make himself irrelevant. All right. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for listening to The Bright Side, friends. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Please check out my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com for the longevity products, and truthtreatments.com for the best skin health products you will ever find, truthtreatments.com. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Have an awesome, beautiful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later, folks. Bye for now.